How's it going, everyone? Hey guys, it's Grant. I'm an indie rocker from Oklahoma. My name is Gabriella Guzman. I am an artist, a painter, I sing, and I'm a YouTuber. My name is Joshua McNeil, and I'm from San Diego, California. I'm a singer-songwriter, and I play the ukulele. I have a band, the Afton Jillian Band. Hi, I'm Handy Suicide. I'm a writer, actress, model, and producer. When music and comedy love each other, they decide to get together and have a baby. And that's pretty much what happened with me. When I was in high school, I set out to be the funniest girl on the morning news show. There will be a fight club meeting today after school. All members are expected to attend. Did you just talk about the fight club? You just violated rule one and oh. two. That was sort of where my comedy career started. If I had three words to describe most of the music that I write, it's honest, original, and offensive. When I'm on stage performing, I just get this sense of fulfillment that you can't get anywhere else. I love the idea of being an anonymous superhero, bringing color and education and new concepts to neighborhoods that can't really access that. This is a cardboard mask that I made with my viewers. I brought in a cardboard box and I told my viewers, what do you want to see on this? And so there's phallic things on either side and there's pimples everywhere. There's baggy eyes. There's a tampon in the mustache somewhere. Not a real one. I made it out of paper towels and a string, so don't be scared. My viewers are corrupt, but I love them. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I was uh, I was very active in sports. One day, I was lifting in the gym, and I got this searing pain in my chest. We went to the hospital. The way that my doctor said it was that I have two leaks in my right pulmonary valve. If you go to the American Heart Association website, you can see a cool video about how it's life-threatening and things like that. <laughs> but I plan on entertaining a lot more people. Somebody showed me the quote from the Lorax. Um, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's gonna happen. And eventually I got, um, unless, tattooed, so that I could uh, remember to never stop. You know. I get a lot of my ideas from dreams and stuff like that. Well, I wrote also a short story called Vampire Summer, which is about vampires in my hometown in New Zealand. And that one actually became a bestseller on the Amazon uh, horror short story. Bloodbath is my new film that I wrote and produced and appear in. That's me covered in blood. There's a lot of blood in it. It's a twist on the classic blood countess who like to bathe in blood. These are two pieces that I did in college of an old next door neighbor of mine named Mr. Stevens. He was a very old, sweet man who you could always tell just wanted somebody to talk to. One thing that's really funny about performing on Sonic Box is the fact that all of my artwork comes out terribly. <laughs> okay, can I just go to town? Don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Is this, ooh, like I've discovered that no piece is going to come out well when I make it live. I don't know if it's like the pressure of being live or the fact that I feel the pressure to entertain. So all of my decisions come out differently. And at this point, we're all just enjoying the fact that everything is so flawed.